Hi there, welcome back to Leisure Spa's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing how to add chemicals to your fresh new spa water. Now it's important to note that we've actually broken this clip down into three segments to make it easy for the user to understand and also for uh, time um, delays such as when we've got to allow chemicals to dissolve into the water. Now. Obviously you've just filled your spa, it's fresh water, we would want that water to be nice and warm in excess of 34 degrees before we add chemicals because it's easy to dissolve the chemicals to the water. Obviously like Milo is easier to dissolve in warm milk than cold milk. So um, what we're first doing is we're going to be adding something called calcium. Now calcium itself is there to stop the water from etching away calcium out of the plastic. So, we want to add some calcium to the water to, to give the plastics longevity and the spa a good long life. So typically what we do is, is we've got a two metre square spa here which is about 1,000 litres and all these measurements are based off 1,000 litres. Um, what we want to do in our water is we want to add about 100 grams of calcium to the spa water. Now 100 grams just happens to be a cap from our chemical container for, of calcium and a cap of calcium is added now the best thing to do is actually to get a bucket of hot water out of the spa and to dissolve it first into that now we always fill the, the bucket with about a third full and we add the calcium to water never add water to calcium you've got to add the calcium to the water now obviously you just dissolve that by sloshing it about and when we're going to add it and Basically what it's going to do is we're going to add that to the moving water. So we always want to get the jets going in the spa. So obviously it's like adding, you know, like baking a cake. You want to mix the ingredients into the moving mixer. So I've just dissolved those granules, first of all. And we just pour that directly into the water. And once you've done that, you want to give it a few minutes. Allow that to completely mix. And then we can move on to our step two pretty much straight away, which is changing the alkaline level of the water. 